Welcome to the Road to Broadway camp. Today we're going to use voice, body language, and our imagination to build our performance skills. Inside your clover crate, you will find a reader's theater, tin foil, a cardboard square, glue, and a voice dice. To assemble the voice dice, begin by cutting out the T shape, making sure not to cut off these edges. The next step is to make a fold on every line, folding down, making sure to fold every flap. Next, put glue on top of the flap by the grandpa square. Make sure to cover the entire flap, then bring it around and connect it to the angry square, going inside. As the cube shape forms, go around attaching each flap by putting glue and then sticking it underneath inside the cube. For those hard to reach spots, take your q-tip of glue and stick it between the two pieces of paper. Take out the piece of rectangular foil from your clover crate. Lay it out in front of you with the shorter edges on the top and the bottom. At the middle of the bottom edge, cut a five inch line upwards. At the top edge, use a marker to draw two vertical marks to divide that edge into three even sections. You can use a ruler for this step or you can estimate it. From those marks at the top edge, make two straight cuts down. They should be about five inches down. With your hands, begin to scrunch one strip of foil on the bottom edge. This will be the figure's leg. You can always scrunch more, but it's very difficult to undo the foil once it's been scrunched. The legs are a little uneven, you can fold up to make them the same length. After the legs are made, it's time to form the arms. The outer sections of the top edge will be scrunched to become the arms. Push the arms and legs together towards the center to form the body. The remaining section will be the head. Carefully scrunch this strip of foil into a ball. Slightly pinch the bottom of the head to form the neck. Go back along the arms and legs, scrunching to make them even. Pinch and bend the bottom of the legs to make the feet. This will be what your figure can use to stand up. Once you have a tin foil figure created, you can glue them to a piece of cardboard from your clover crate. This will help them stand up on their own. Body language is a way to communicate in theater. You can move your figure around and try to copy the body language of your figure. You can also use the extra tin foil in your clover crate to decorate your figure. 